Who am I if I'm not on stage? And what am I really? Will people like who I am if I show them my world? The fighting, the obsessive self-work, the obsessive hours in the gym, the obsessive daily schedule, the therapy, and the dirty diapers. Will they like me if I'm just a guy from Montana? biggest lesson that he has learned yeah I think it's the constant story that we can do better and that we're enough you know that we all can do better and that we're enough we don't have to go to outside sources to find a sense of self-love or acceptance that we're good just start doing better then you'll have less shame then you'll have less anchor and then you snowball effect from there and I think that he hits home with um, with that message I mean I really think that the most important lesson I've learned from him just throughout life is that we really are all equal and that you have to work for what you want and you're not gonna have everything handed to you. And just, that's how you succeed in life. Probably that hard work pays off. And if you keep on working at something, then it'll probably get done. You just keep fucking going, man, you know? You just keep getting back up. Setbacks, people quitting, you know, uh, not getting the festival you wanted, not, you know. Our last record, I. You know, I put 35 grand of my own money into it. And I thought it was going to be the most successful piece of art that I ever made. And nobody listened to it. And, you know, what do you do? You go, okay, cool, back to the drawing board. I guess we'll try to make another record and see if it works. You know, we make a good team. Like, I help him level up, he helps me level up. Go! He values family over anything else. Even friends, he goes out of his way to be cool and you know, help out as best he can. He has that experience. He's really good at talking to people. He's really good at, you know, bringing you in and showing you what you need, or, or even just being like, this is what I did. And I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but here's what helped me, and I think that's been pretty cool. After spending 18 months in therapy and healing up old wounds, closing doors to the past and giving myself back to this land, I realized I don't give a fuck. I have to be me. And if I'm gonna keep moving forward as an artist, I have to show everybody who I am now, not who I was. Um, dude, at the end of the day, I take care of my family by playing my guitar and singing songs that I wrote in a notebook, which is the coolest thing in the world. As soon as the snow melted, I went back outside to the rivers and the mountains that I used to spend all my time in. Back when being a touring musician was a dream. Back to the place that inspired me to do all this shit in the first place. So when I was in treatment 12 years ago, we did an outing here on this trail and down, well I'm gonna hopefully catch a fish when we get back down, was when I decided that I shouldn't move back to Chicago, that I should stay in Montana. And then, met this dime piece. And it worked out and then we made this little food again. Hey! Hey Bob Weir. There's the rock, but previously there was a bunch of like raging water all around it. How funny. Oh yeah, you're right. This is where I wrote uh, From and I Go. Which rock was it, babe? This big one, and you 
Like this. this flat one? No. The one in the middle over there? Yeah, there's a two big ones. Yep. The one from that second big one that's now. Yep. This thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, get shoot Are you growling at those flies, dude? Shoot flies. <laughs> She's wrong. It was, it was that rock. She's wrong. Since everything actually happened, I've been more creative than I have in many, many years. And I think it's attributed to being back home in Montana, man. You know, and going in the mountains again regularly and not having to leave all the damn time, you know. I've really been able to put my roots back down, which is something I've been lacking for the past five, six years. So for me, yeah, dude, I've been, I've been more creative and this record is so fucking cool, man. And I'm in love with every single song on it. Yeah, dude, I'm just not ever gonna live anywhere else but here. No fucking way. It just, it fucking hits me too, dude. Like, we were down at that rock, playing with Malachi, and I was gonna fish, but it was windy. So I went and sat on that rock, and it was just like, cool. You have this thing where I sit in whatever water's just fucking raging, I like sit on a rock in the middle of it and just like soak that energy up. I was sitting there and then the song was hitting me. So I waded back through the water, got my phone, go back to the rock. And from when I go, like top to bottom, finished it. Took, I wrote it in three minutes. Wow. And it was like the whole hike down was just singing in my head. Like, I could hear the whole thing. Yeah, dude, there's just nothing else here but creative energy. When I see my window, I, I dive headfirst into it. You know, I'm the same way with music. If something creative is coming through me and I, and I feel a song, like I was telling you the story of, of writing from and I go on a rock, you know, when that shit comes, dude, I, uh, you know, I pull the e-brake on everything and I answer that call because you just don't know how many of those calls you'll get in a lifetime. So every song, you know, from when we got back last fall, every song's been written here and, you know, and I'm just, been home for the last seven months, which I haven't been home for a summer in six years. So getting on the river every week, fishing every week, hiking with my son every week, just doing all the shit that I used to do, you know, um, it just, it's filled me up with like so much creativity, man. Once I gave into this break from the road and became reintroduced to the man that I'd become, these songs came out really fast. It's the most natural body of work that's ever poured out of me. These songs played finished in my head like a record long before I shared them with anybody. These songs are Montana because I am Montana. This place has made me exactly who I am. It's my home. So I spent all of my days writing these love songs about the things that made me feel home. My wife, my kids, this land, my insecurities, my fears, and how grateful I am for all of it. 